After the political missteps of the past 24 hours, Nick Xenophon was on the front foot today, trying to establish his candidates as the best choice for voters at the next South Australian election. But one political commentator has questioned whether Mr Xenophon's party is organised enough to run a successful campaign. Isabel Damon reports. Nick Xenophon started the day with a promise to the major parties in South Australia. If we hold an, a handful of seats that gives us the balance of power, we will not be accepting cabinet positions. We will be fearlessly independent. And he's shown he won't tolerate anything that threatens his chances of making that happen. Since announcing he'd run on Friday, Mr Xenophon has been forced to sack one candidate and counsel another over inappropriate social media posts. Questions are now being asked about the structure and competence of the SA Best Party. It's sort of politics 101 really to check out your candidates and to check out their social media posts. Adelaide University professor Carol Johnson says the incidents point to potentially bigger problems than just a failed vetting process. The whole party is really based around the cult of personality of Nick Xenophon. We've seen it with One Nation too. Often they don't develop the type of party structure that is needed with the experienced administrative staff and others in place. The government wouldn't offer its interpretation. I don't intend to um, provide a running commentary every time something goes wrong within uh, the new SA Best Party. This is really a gift um, to both major parties. A gift they'll handle with care, though the Labor and Liberal parties will both be hoping to form government in their own right next year, there's a very real chance they'll have to negotiate with Nick Xenophon and his candidates. That means they're unlikely to do anything that cuts ties completely. We want to drive some important, deep and lasting reforms in the way South Australia is governed. SA Best is expected to run as many as 20 candidates in total. Isabel Damon, ABC News, Adelaide.